Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. This is Tony, your favorite UK tech YouTuber, in case uh, you haven't decided yet who's the best. Of course, today I've got the Xperia L4, the brand new Sony budget device, £169 on their website. I got my one from Vodafone for £155 with £10 top up. I ordered it at 5 o'clock pm, it came the next day 2 pm, guys. Free 24 hour delivery. 155 pounds and lock codes are available on ebay for just two pounds this video is not sponsored by vodafone by any means the only reason that i got it from them is because it was actually cheaper it's available in two colors blue and black i've got the black one but don't expect you know the nice kind of piano black one this is kind of a plain black and considering i am really not sure of the material of the back cover probably is plastic it's not gonna be that nice but anyways they could have done a green or a white one but classic sony over here so what's the first about this phone it's a budget device with 21 by 9 aspect ratio screen it's gonna go against the xiaomi redmi note 8 pro which costs exactly the same from their official xiaomi uk web store 169 guys i'm gonna do a few comparisons between the bo both of those uh two phones in the next video i'm gonna unbox this baby up but until then let's get working on the xperia l4 now i'm gonna say over here that i had the xperia 5 i had the xperia 1 with the discounted prices i really love these devices but they had issues no face and look and the fingerprint reader it was just wrong guys over here the fingerprint reader is mounted on the side i'm gonna have to test this one out but let's have a look at the specifications trio camera at the back 13 megapixel main one 5 megapixel ultra wide camera that's probably the lowest resolution ultra wide camera i have ever seen on any phone guys which means that it's gonna be useless pretty much 2 megapixel bouquet camera ah uh, okay the selfie is 8 megapixels the screen is 6.2 inch lcd hd plus which means 720p screen which means that it's bigger and probably nicer than the new iphone se which costs uh, like three times as much 3600 milliamp hours of battery and helio p22 processor which is supposed to handle 720p just fine so probably expect a good battery life from that phone also 3 gigs of ram which is the bare minimum nowadays and uh, 64 gigs of storage plus micro sd card slot so you can't really complain over here the micro sd card slot is taking up the space from the sim 2 but considering in uk we usually don't get um, you know dual sim phones well we started but anyways now this phone is available in two colors guys blue and black and let me check this one out okay glossy kind of actually not glossy it's a matte plastic finish at the back check this out guys a little bit closer um feels a little bit on the cheap side to be honest with you i really really need a case for this one because it's gonna scratch from day one i could have gotten the blue one but it's simply not available and can you imagine if they made a white one or a red one it would have been so much cooler guys definitely the camera array of here looks really really good guys at the bottom uh we've got the um, usb type c charging port two holes i can imagine one for the actual microphone and the other one for the speaker i'm really not sure if this device has stereo speakers but i'm not exactly expecting that let's have a look at the camera tray oh sim card tray not camera tray <laughs> now no ip certification as from what i can see there is no rubber band over here and this is pretty much one sim another sim or let me see what does it say micro sd you know what guys this is the uk version and it's not dual sim it's one memory card and one sim i really don't know why they keep doing that but anyways on this side we've got the volume rocker over here power button um some would argue that it's in the wrong side over here it's too low but to be honest with you for a phone that tall that's kind of the right place the fingerprint reader i really really hope that they didn't put the same one from the xperia 5 which doesn't work most of the time so yeah the phone 
is really nice in the hand guys really really nice i'm gonna do a quick size comparison against other devices but let's see what else do we have in this box guys a little instruction manuals over here um we've got a usb type c cable and a charger let me see the wattage of this charger 7.5 watts which means slow charging all day long guys but to be honest with you <laughs> sony even the flagships they charge over two hours so i'm not expecting miracles let me check the box for hidden compartments that's something that i always look for and uh, usually i'm disappointed this one uh okay it's been and yeah that's pretty much box wise guys i'm gonna leave these accessories over here and i'm gonna power up this baby just i'm interested in the fingerprint reader so far to see what we're gonna get now 720p screen at 6.2 inches hmm if it was 1080p i don't mind but you know 720p that's gonna be a problem watching youtube videos now size wise let me uh, quickly pop up a few phones HTC U12 Plus guys pretty much the same size this is the Motorola one from last year a little bit bigger than this one this is the Oppo Renault Z amazing budget phone about 220 pounds something like that pretty much the same size and the unbeatable the Honor 8X let me see pretty much well not that thick and uh, a little bit bigger so overall big phone guys the phone is big let me set it up quickly and i'm gonna tell you my first impressions now okay guys so after playing with the phone for a few minutes i can tell you that not much has changed some of the sony's problems are still present but i'm happy to report that some of them have been eliminated for example the fingerprint reader works 100 percent of the time uh, because with the previous devices if you just lock the screen the fingerprint wouldn't work for a few seconds i can imagine that that's due to the mtk processor but we've got smart unlock face unlock which means that you have to point the phone towards your face the unlock button is going to pop up and you're going to swipe no proper face unlock but at least that is something now a few issues that i've noticed first of all the notch i really don't see why do we have to have a notch on such a huge screen they could have matched the bottom bezel and even it out but anyway we've got a notch over here no weird light bleed issues or anything like that in the notch area it's not cut off like the lg g6 pixelated it is okay now this is already the maximum brightness of the screen i can imagine that we're gonna have a problem with the maximum brightness 720p actually the screen looks okay but a little bit kind of lifeless if you know what i mean a little bit on the cold side um and it just lacks uh, lacks punch um actually now we've got a bottom firing speaker it is not very good unfortunately and the only way to navigate the phone seems to be these two buttons over here um no other options whatsoever i really don't like that and something else absolutely no bloat whatsoever uh, apart from amazon shopping and booking.com i really don't want booking.com on my phone but anyway you've got it one of the cleanest android builds i can see some stutters here and there in the settings menu which i really don't like but i'm gonna have to put the performance to the test guys and one other thing i should mention is that no proper dark mode i mean dark mode is available here but not here due to the android 9 and of course classic sony when you go to system updates uh, check this out guys update okay we've got a new update we're gonna press update and you're gonna see in a few seconds what is going to happen you see how the update will fail uh, without a reason and check this out guys i'm getting a notification xperia system update could not install um okay so in terms of update brand new phone with android 9 it's a shame guys i mean android 11 have already been well not released but the beta is available for the pixel devices and sony is shipping stock android with android 9 this is a shame guys so my first impressions are although sony is finally put out a 
decent, let's say decent, um, you know, device with a relatively big battery. Although for this size, I could imagine they, they should have put like 5,000 milliamp hours. But anyways, the screen is too dim. And again, 170 pounds for a new phone. It is not too much but i really feel like this phone is going to be a disappointment which is not what i expected to be honest with you i really wanted to like this phone but give me like a week or two i'm gonna put it to my test but in the meantime stay tuned for my unboxing of the redmi note 8 pro i have a feeling that this is going to be the better phone overall because spec wise is already blowing the sony out of the water everything is better on this phone and don't forget it is bought from the official Xiaomi web store in the UK, which means you've got your, all of your warranty and stuff like that. But anyway, that's going to be for the next video. For this video, that was it, guys. Stay tuned for more content on the Sony Xperia L4. And um, yeah, that's about it. Subscribe to Vlogging Project if you haven't already. That was Tony for your entertainment. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you in the next one. Adios.